It is mind boggling air and it really is. I'm going to talk to you about that in just a minute because before they can cross that iconic finish line on Boylston Street, all of the runners start right here. We are at the starting line. We're right behind you guys by 100 feet or so. And planning for this 127th Boston Marathon started a week after the 126th Boston Marathon last year. It is a logistics miracle with meticulous planning. Earlier this week, I spoke with the bus operations director involved in all the planning about the transportation fleet to get runners from wherever they are over to Athletes Village, which is about seven tenths of a mile from here. You can see this road is busy right now, guys. It's open until uh, seven o'clock this morning and then they will close it. Also wanted to let you know that 22 Massachusetts National Guardsmen are rucking this route. They started about 10 minutes ago. They uh, are in combat boots. There's someone uh, on the Mass National Guard from Sandown, New Hampshire. We talked with her. They think it'll take them six or seven hours to get to the finish line. Quite a commitment there. Uh, and more than 40, 50, I should say, coach buses will be making several moves during the day for groups, professional runners, volunteers, and guys, there are 20 low floor transit style buses to move the para athletes. Also wanted to let you guys know that um, overnight at midnight, bicyclists ride the route and we talked with uh three bikers who were they started at midnight and we met them here at like five o'clock this morning and uh they were just all a buzz having done a round trip of this boston marathon route i mean it's just such a special event for everyone everybody kind of wants to take their piece of it in the way that they can we'll hand things back to you guys sean and aaron